Bloomberg Audio Studios. Podcasts, radio, news. Big news today for our good friends at Robin Hood Markets. Stock's up 3.6% uh, today. Uh, the company unveiling a credit card. I need more credit cards. Look at this stock here. I'm, see, I'm a Wall Street guy. All I care about is this stock. Stock's up 56% year to date. Wow. Trailing 12 months up 132%. It's got a $17.5 billion market cap. Uh, so big news coming out of our friends at Robin Hood. Vlad Tenev joins us. He's the chief executive officer. He's a co-founder of Robin Hood. He joins us here in our Bloomberg Interactive Broker Studio. I, I'm not on the Robin Hood platform because I'm a gentleman. I need the Swiss bank secrecy laws uh, protecting me. But my 28-year-old twins, who are the future of this thing, they are on Robin Hood. They're very happy. They were psyched that I was talking to Vlad. Vlad, talk to us about your news today. You're not just a commission-free platform, which is in and of itself amazing, but you're now getting to the credit card business? Yeah, we were really excited to announce this. We've been working on it for quite a while, and we didn't just want to launch another Me Too credit card. We really wanted to come in and do something special and really lead the industry. So it's really the best cashback rewards that we found in any credit card on the market the best digital experience and really the best design. We have a solid gold card that's basically a hunk of metal. It's extremely <laughs> iconic, very simple, like very well designed. We're really proud of the product. Now the hard work comes of rolling it out, but even since the announcement in the first few hours after the announcement, which was last night, we had hundreds of thousands of people signing up for the credit card. So wow. it's, uh, it's looking very good so far. How does the credit card fit into the business? Because I know early last year you guys announced a retirement product, so it feels like you're trying to expand away from the core trading platform? Yeah, so as a business, holistically, we're focused on three things. The first is being the number one platform for active traders. Right now we're number two, but we have a path to being number one in some number of years. And that's really through user experience improvements, product innovations like 24 hour market, adding new asset classes like futures, uh, new platform launches like our web pro platform, which we've announced. But we don't wanna just be an active trader platform. We also wanna grow wallet share with our customers and help them build wealth. And that's where Robinhood Gold comes in. That's where our innovations in the retirement program with the 3% match come in. And of course, now the credit card is sort of uh, another pillar of us growing wallet share with customers and helping them do all of their financial activities in one place via Robinhood. So are you competing with this card with the bank issued Visa and MasterCards? Is that the market you're now going into? I think that we're trying to do something really interesting with this card. So if you think about premium credit cards, yep. the best ones out there accept less than half of the people that apply. Is that right? So yeah, it's like, less is than that half like the, of applicants. Is that a Chase Sapphire or is that an Amex Platinum or whatever? Uh, those classes of, of credit okay, cards, okay. really like the, the typical sort of like super prime okay. uh, premium rewards cards, and they have high annual fees. Right. So what we wanted to do is in the same way that Robinhood democratized stock trading yep. and made it accessible to a wider group of people, we want to open up the private client experience. I don't know if you've been to a Chase branch, mm -hmm. but you can see there's two doors, one for the private clients yep. and one for everyone else. And the whole idea behind Robinhood Gold is giving that private client experience for as little as $5 a month, opening it to everyone. Mm -hmm. And it starts with the premium credit card, of course the retirement benefits where you get a 3% match, the first and biggest in the industry, the 5% APY on our cash, which is just a, institutional grade high yield offering that you have to have you know millions of dollars to match at at other brokers um so yeah we're putting all this together and we're seeing Robinhood gold customers actually depositing the lion's share of their money into Robinhood and really growing with us and i think we have an opportunity to offer them services for all of their financial needs and Vlad, the perks are pretty sweet as you mentioned three percent cash back on all purchases do you make money off of this? How are you, how is this going to be kind of another peg for the profitability and the growth of the company? Yeah, uh, two things there. One is we do obviously any business line we enter, we intend to be profitable over the long run mm -hmm. on a standalone basis. So not just accretive, but we anticipate this being a profitable business line just within the card portfolio. And that's through not just the interchange transaction revenue, 
but also the lending business through the card. We anticipate this would actually be a very attractive card for people building credit over time and not just folks that pay off their balance in full. And then the, the other side of it is we see that when customers adopt Robinhood Gold, their rate of deposit growth and account balance growth is much higher than non-gold customers. They also adopt our products at a much higher rate. And so even though they're getting so much more value with all of these industry leading rates and value props, the revenue that accrues to the business from the gold relationship is also multiples higher than non-gold customers. And we think the credit card, since it's so core to people's financial needs, Typically, all of their the lion's share of their spending goes through credit. And if you're using a credit card, much easier to grab the paycheck deposit. Um, <laughs> Sweeney can... carries cash around, though. This is a guy who walks around with hundreds of dollars in his pocket. I don't know why. I, 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 I ask myself the same. When you walk into a bar, the Jersey Shore put ca good cash on the bar there. Um, Vlad... Well, let me, I'll show you what I've got in my pocket. Oh, oh he brought the card. That's very cool. 14 right, carats. So let's show this. All right, folks, on, we're showing you this card. It is. It weighs something you got some heft well there. it is a, this is the card here folks it is it's awesome. basically gold bullion Ooh. it's like a it's not gold plated it's a this is legit solid well, I don't see your, your numbers though i can't uh make some <laughs> well, purchases so that, right now that's the great thing about it because uh this is a digital first card mm -hmm. and we outlined all the awesome digital features like virtual cards like um family focused suite of features mm -hmm. um yeah, you, you don't actually need the number on it. You can open up the app, look at the number, the expiration dates on there. The design of the card is minimal, only the Robinhood brand, the chip, and on the back you have your name, and that's pretty much Interesting. it. So if it gets stolen or lost, you don't really have to worry about I your actual you lost number a cool being card. used. Yeah, then you lost yeah, a cool yeah, card. Yeah. Replace it. All right, so who is the typical Robinhood customer these days, client these days? A typical Robinhood customer, I would say, is someone in their 30s. Okay. They tend to be an early adopter of technology. They have, you know, more half of our customers make over $100,000 in annual income. Um, so it's not sort of like the paycheck to paycheck customer as maybe uh, some people think. Yep. And, and we also have much larger customers with big accounts. We recently have been introducing matches. In fact, last night we rolled out another initiative, 1% unlimited deposit match into Robinhood uh, for all dollars deposited for our gold members. So basically, most financial firms charge you a percentage to keep your mm -hmm. money there as a management fee. We're paying you a percentage to move your money with us. And these types of offers have really attracted people with much bigger accounts. We've had customers with tens of millions of dollars moving those accounts to Robinhood, and they've been very happy with the experience. So we have been adding capabilities to serve customers uh, across the entire market, not just sort of in that middle tier, but also people with more money and people with, uh, with less who are just getting started. We, we also would like to serve them and have been focusing on that demographic since day one. And Vlad, when I talk to skeptics, they point out that you guys are heavily reliant on options trading, crypto volumes, and that driving the business. Paul mentioned the huge run up over the last 12 months, still down 48% from the IPO price. What is the kind of mission in the next coming months and years for the company to get back to that IPO price and trade higher? Well, I think we've been doing really well focusing on the inputs of the business. I, I can't really control the stock price mm -hmm. directly, but yeah, if we're growing revenues, if we're diversifying revenues, if we're launching innovative new products for our customers, um, I think we can kind of grow through market headwinds and high interest rate environment and, and be sort of like a, a company that thrives in all conditions. And you mentioned the revenues and you know, options trading and all of these things. But what's happened in the past couple of years is the revenue profile of the business has diversified as we've rolled out all these products. As of the last earnings report, several earnings mm -hmm. calls, more than half of the revenue is actually net interest margin, not even transaction based. Right. So as we add more of these products, like the 5% yield on your cash, uh, the profile of the business has also changed. All right, Vlad, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate you coming into our Bloomberg Interactive Broker Studio. Vlad Tenev, 
He's the chief executive officer, co-founder of Robinhood. The news today, Robinhood unveils a credit card. And folks, it has some heft. This is a unique credit card. Uh, it's in a further push beyond uh, the trading business there uh, and the stock uh, performing very well there. We appreciate that.